Hi, yes, hello, and welcome back to the Millennial Movie Monday. If you're new here, hi, my name is Ashley, and if you're a returner, welcome back. I'm a millennial that likes to go back and watch your older classic movies for the very first time. I give you a preview review, which is what I think the movie's gonna be about based on pop culture. We watch it together, edit it, of course, because copyright, and then I give you my review. Did I like it? Did I not like it? Did I stay in the test of time and I give it stars, all based on personal preference and what the hell do I know? So today, if you have not seen the title or read the thumbnail, I'm watching The Lord of the Rings, The Two Towers. Here is what is wild. It has been uh, a little over a year since I watched Fellowship of the Ring. And uh, I have gone back and rewatched my reaction to remember the characters and what took place and boy howdy, I forgot how much exactly happened. It was an incredibly long film. But something else that I wanna say is when I first started this channel, the first movies I watched were Star Wars and I was very concerned about the Star Wars fandom because I know people are very passionate. I gotta be honest with you, 98% of Star Wars fandom Super nice. Understood that I had never watched any Star Wars movies before. Understood that I was going into these movies blind and y'all took the time to explain. Now, I don't know what happened in Fellowship of the Ring. I don't know if people skipped the intro. I don't know what happened, but you would have thought that I just took a bat to their firstborns ahead. <laughs> the comments on the Fellowship of the Ring were so detailed and disheartening that I put Lord of the Rings in the back of my noggin to forever be forgotten. But I do love watching series. I had to extend myself the grace and be like, hey, you know what? You started Fellowship of the Ring not knowing anything. I've never read the books either. So I didn't know that this trilogy is actually one story across three movies. And you know, now that I see that uh, the theatrical cut of The Two Towers is literally three hours long, like now it's starting to make sense. Whereas I went into Fellowship of the Ring expecting a complete story, a wrap up, a pretty bow, and it's tucked away forever. That's not how this is gonna play out. And that's okay. Just a year ago me didn't know that. And I'm happy to report that the next Monday is going to be The Lord of the Rings, The Return of the King. So I'm gonna have a completed story. For you, it'll be in a week's time. For me, it'll be today. So I'm very excited to continue the journey to Mordor. I forgot how many wonderful characters they were. There were, I'm kind of cold and you can't see it, but I'm wearing a shirt that says, that's, well, work smarter, not harder, Ashley. No body, no death. No body, no death, because I said that quite often in Fellowship of the Ring because, you know, Dumbledore, I thought, oh my God, I'm so sorry. Uh, please don't, please don't attack me in the comments. I thought Gandalf was dead when he met with long hair wizard man. Listen, I know, I just watched my reaction of Fellowship of the Ring, here's the thing. It's a lot of names to remember. I need y'all to be patient with me. I'm very excited to follow Frodo into Mount Doom. We're not just gonna walk into Mordor. I'm excited to see how we're gonna get this ring, how we're gonna have a solution. I'm excited to continue the story knowing full and well that I have to watch the third one to get the entire picture. No more diddle dally. Let's get on into today's movie, which is The Lord of the Rings, The Two Towers. start this movie with this scene, did we? Did we? Break my heart all over again. <laughs> and he's gonna fight him all the way down. All right, Gandalf, Gandalf don't take no shit. I love this for him. I couldn't imagine watching that scene in theaters, like on a huge screen. I bet that was magnificent for you. What is it, Mr. Frodo? Nothing. Okay, I was about to say, if we went through all this emotional damage just to find out it's a dream, I was about to be pissed. Just a dream. Damn, but somehow it's worse knowing it's just a dream. I hope we see Gandalf again. He didn't mean for a lot of things to happen, Sam. Stop it! All this talk of Gandalf, I'm gonna cry. It's getting heavier. You got this, Frodo. I believe in y'all. And the closer you get, oh, that bet it's just gonna get worse. But this elvish stuff, it's not bad. I think the elves would cook really well. This looks strangely familiar. Because we've been here before. Oh, uh, walking in circles. Everything looks like rock! For 
word, there's a nasty bog nearby. Can you smell it? Like a swamp? Is that what a bog is? I don't know. We're not alone. Oh, 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 it's another person. It's another something. Another group, another not them. Gollum! Metal thieves. Okay, so he's still in a bad mood about the ring, clearly. Once it. <laughs> ah, surprise attack! They knew he was gonna come! <laughs> Gollum is so scary! Uh-uh. Uh-uh. <laughs> it's like WWE! I wasn't aware that Gollum would kill! But that's the power of the ring, I suppose. Release him, or I'll cut you throat. I think you should just go ahead and cut it anyway, because it might save you a headache in the future. Gollum seems to be a creature that's going to be reoccurring until the ring is taken care of. <laughs> Don't be a crybaby about it. You brought it upon yourself, dude. Every orc in Mordor's going to hear this rocket. Just <laughs> real quick. Maybe he does deserve to die. Thanks. Yep. I agree. I do pity him. Can't relate. We swears to you what you want. I don't trust you, Gollum. I don't trust him. I don't like him. I don't trust him. I don't believe you. Okay, so me and Sam are the same. You will lead us to the Black Gate. Oh, he's actually doing it? Okay, I was well prepared for like another tackle and scuffle. What is I forgot how scary the orcs were. Ah, oh, I was like, why are you doing that? But it'll be a side little Hansel and Gretel moment. Come on, Ghibli. He's doing the best he can. Could you imagine how hard it is to run like that in all the, the armor and swords and capes and stuff? I couldn't walk up a flight of stairs, let alone make a trek like this. They have picked up on the trail. <laughs> I am Gimli. <laughs> Is that you, Beans? Are you only dangerous over short distances? <laughs> Home of the horse lords. Horse lords like centaurs? Two towers. Ah, oh, title line. Okay, so we're bringing both these guys together. We shall rule this Middle Earth. And together they shall rule Middle Earth. Okay, I see. It's literally, it's literally those two things together. Okay. I see the goal on both sides here now, I think. Oh my god, that's disgusting! I hate it! Okay, now they gotta flee, because they're coming. Oh, maybe they're not centaurs. Maybe they're just people that have horses. <laughs> but y'all gotta go. Y'all gotta skedaddle. Something tells me she ain't gonna make it to find them. Oh, he's not doing good. Clearly, even worse than I expected. Saruman will take it by force. That is a lie. Mm, it's already in the works. Unchecked, unchallenged, killing at will. Uh, the king really do be looking like he's knocking on heaven's door. I don't think he's too worried about anything. Your uncle is wearied by your malcontent. It's the safety of his people! You're clearly not on their side. How long is it since Saruman? Yep, see? It was that obvious. He was promised a girl? Blech. Under pain of death. What? That's not fair, talking about tr him troubling a troubled mind. You're taking advantage of a troubled mind and, and banning his son. If he was of sound mind, he would have you banished. Keep breathing. Watch the key. <laughs> In through the nose, out through the mouth. We're not coming no further till we've had a breather. And that's a good plan. I'd be out of breath, I'd be hungry, I'd be just real bitchy, honestly. We might have made a mistake leaving the Shire, 
Are you just now thinking like that? What's making that noise? I was about to ask the same thing. It's the trees. What? Uh-uh. Uh-uh. And come alive. Alive. What kind of alive? Like evil alive? Why can't we have some meat? Oh, the spit when he talks because he ain't got no lips. What about their legs? I hate them! I hate them! Get back, Snow! Oh no, and now y'all gonna fight each other! <laughs> Yay! They caught up to you! What a good day. Night. Sorry, that's just terrifying. Are they circling back to kick your ass? Because there's three against 300, and I need you to figure it out. Give me your name, horse master, and I shall give you mine. Bold move, dude. Legolas, what makes you think this is the time to be acting like that? What makes you think that? Hmm. They've taken two of our friends, Captain. I was gonna say, that's an important part. The lyrics are destroyed. We slaughtered them during the night. What about you, Hobbit? <gasps> well, what about our friends? What about the Hobbits? We left none alive. For real? Is this... Is this a lie? You killed two of our friends! Giving us horses ain't gonna fix that! Okay. I'ma say it. I'ma say it. No body, no death. We haven't seen a body yet. So they don't have to be dead. No body, no death. Let's go. Oh my god, that is terrifying. That's a lot of a lot of charred bodies to dig through. It's one of them belts. A belt is still not a body. I don't think they're dead. A hobbit lay here. And the other. Oh they're alive? Wow, when you put a hobbit next to a, to a horse, I, that is some forced perspective I needed. The belt! Oh, and that's how the belt ended up in the group of dead bodies. Uh, take that, that's not a good forest. Mmm, that does not look like a good forest. He is hunting them with the spear still in his shoulder. That is wild. Oh my god. Ah, uh, okay. Oh, oh! I don't like none of this. I don't know what I'm making the face for. I don't know if it's the fact that dude said maggot hole or if I'm freaking out about the trees. I think it's a solid mix of both. A tree herder? Huh? They come with axes. Will you please look at these two and realize they were being hu uh, hunted and they don't have a weapon, clearly? The white wizard. No! No, no, anybody but him. Anybody but him. Oh my god, he's already here. Don't worry, you keep your word, he'll keep his. Did Gollum bring his own, not bring, but take us to his own trap? But no, it's always a good sign when you're traveling through a swamp that's also on fire. See, 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 this is a trap, this is a trap. Oh, see, if you would have told me that you would have uh, taken us through the dead marshes, I would have been like, you know what? No thanks. I am terrified. Terrified. Frodo, don't follow the light. Don't follow the light. Frodo! Frodo! Frodo, 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 one job, don't follow the lights. That's scary as hell. And you're surrounded by them. 
How about we put Frodo in the middle? Gollum in front, Frodo in the middle, Sam in the back. Don't follow the lights. All right. All right. Gollum has kind of gained my trust with that move right there. Maybe he's not all evil all the time. Um, Gandalf told me you were one of the river folk. So Gollum hasn't always been like this? You are not so very different from a hobbit once. Why do I feel like Gollum's backstory is about to make me ball? <laughs> Scared the shit out of me! <laughs> wow. They upgraded their horses this time. You know what? We were prepared if an enemy came in through foot because they don't know the path. Was not prepared for an enemy to come in by wing. <laughs> Y'all about to get snatched up too. So we gotta go in for the kill immediately. Well, that failed just as quick as we developed the plan. Gandalf for real? For real Gandalf? For real? Or is this the ghost of Gandalf? Because why is he wearing all white? I don't think that's Gandalf. I think this is something else giving them hope. I've been sent back until my task is done. <gasps> like a little guardian angel? I am Gandalf the White. Yes, baby! Wardrobe change, name change, yes. War has come to run We must ride to Icarus. Okay, now that Gandalf's back, I feel like everything's gonna be okay. You have to have your all-white horse. You have to. If you're gonna be known as Gandalf the White, if this Gandalf is like a guardian angel Gandalf, then of course he's gonna have his guardian angel pony. He has to. I don't make the rules of fantasy. I just abide by him. What a pretty baby! I told Gandalf I would keep you safe. Oh, praise God! He's talking about Gandalf the White, not the white wizard, the bad guy. Wonderful. I immediately feel better! It's a scary gate, and I see why you can't just walk through it. It's pretty tall. Sam. Sam. -a. Sam has a history and very clearly a future in messing up plans. That's a solid plan. I didn't even- Oh my god, I didn't realize how close they were. Where were they? Oh, that was them the whole time? Wow, they some lumpy, bumpy sons of bitches, huh? Oh yeah, I forgot they got the special cloaks from the elves. That's why they had the, the leaf pinned it. Say there's another way into Mordor. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. He's been true to his word. Well, his word t was to get you to the Black Gate. Past this moment, he owes you nothing. Be careful what you say. Do not look for welcome here. I mean, have we expected welcome anywhere we've been in these films? No. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Don't be gross. Your words are poison. Ah, oh, praise God. Okay, great. I thought she was about to be all up in it. I was gonna be like, are you really that simple? You would not part an old man from his boy, Stephen. Smart! Smart! All right! All right, we got some- we got some big brain energy going on. He hasn't said any words until right now. How is he able to get all of that out? Alan, keep your forked tongue behind your teeth. <laughs> what an elegant way of saying shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think he wants to be released from this spell. Gandalf the Grey. Bitch, I'm Gandalf the White! The fuck you mean I ain't got no power here? Oh wow, oh wow, ha <laughs> ha, suck it. Oh, his youth is coming back, hey, hey! Wow, wonderful, welcome back, a lot has happened. Fingers would remember their own strength better. If they grasp. Get your soul, remember who you were, king. Okay, if that man changed that much, how did nobody else in his little army, like, did Grimma, or whatever his name was, did he have, did he help Sauron put a spell on everybody? That made his army just like not realize how much this man had aged and changed and his eye color changed and like did everybody just believe he went crazy or senile and just let this man rule? Ah. I think I would have killed him. Why? Why not? Give me one good reason. Well. Sandra's death. 
us now so we don't make it. I was going to say, you cannot feel guilty for something that you did not do. No parents should have to bury my child. I do agree with that. I'm going to cry. Is this perfect going to make me cry? Oh, yeah, they're them kids. I forgot about the... Um, I forgot about that. His men will return and fight for their king. Yep, I forgot about that. You got a whole army out there. Open war is upon you, whether you would risk it or not. Yeah, like, it's coming either way, baby. Like, you're just gonna have to fight. Decide what side and do it. The people of Rome will need you. I kind of feel bad for Aragon. He always gets shit on, and then he always is the one that usually helps other groups of people out of trouble or saves people, you know what I mean? At first light on the fifth day, look to the east. So in five days, when the sun rises, look to the east. Got it. Oh, are you ready to go, girl? Or is she just playing around? What? Oh my god. Yeah, and she wants to be a badass fighter. You can be both a princess and a kickass. Part of me is, is thinking like, wow, what a cowardly move. But like, also he's been possessed this entire time. And so like to wake up and realize you've been gone and you lost your son and a war is like coming. I kind of don't blame him for running away. There's not left in him but lies and deceit. Listen, you ain't got to trust him, but you don't have to bully him. <laughs> okay, that's the first time I've looked at Gollum and thought, aw. <laughs> you know about it. Not that. Hey, watch yourself. You're getting upset and angry. That's the ring. It's my task. Mine. My own. Is it your precious? Is it my precious? Master? Yes. Precious. Okay, wild. Master, you beautiful us now. Yeah, stand up for yourself to yourself. Is this actually gonna work for- Is this gonna work for real? Smiggles free. If this is true, I'm so happy for Smeagol. Disgusting. It ruins it. Have you ever tried it? Potatoes. Right. Boil them, mash them, stick them in a stew. I've heard that song, that like, m m mash up, you know? Mr. Frodo? Yeah. Anybody keep an eye on Frodo? No. Sam, that's your one job. No one at home will believe this. Not to be morbid, but like, if you make it back home. Oh, they're getting attacked! Oh my god, there was more people! In the bushes! Come on, Sam. Ah! Who is it? 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 They are so alike in voice and appearance, but they're often mistaken for dwarf men. Oh, beautiful. That was deliberate. It was deliberate. It was deliberate. <laughs> I am a mix of Sam and Gimli. I'm a mix of those two. Oh yeah, you can't be falling for this this new girl. You gotta you gotta remain faithful to your fairy scary girlfriend. Oh my god, I love that dress. It reminds me of Taylor Swift's folklore dress on the Eras tour. Oh, see? Oh, see? That jewel, that necklace, that gonna keep you faithful to the girl. Whoa! <laughs> what in the world? He knows. He knows you're meant to fight! What do you do, girly pop? You gotta lead your people, though. Yeah, are you strong enough? Oh! I really freaked out. I really thought that was the end of him. Oh my god, could this get any worse for him? No body, no death. No body, no death. He fell. Presumed dead, but not confirmed. I love, like, medieval storylines because Argon and this lady have known each other for like a whole 24 hours and she's like distraught. She's for for real big crying about this man that she knew for a day. Well, I simply wasn't ready. We for real doing this. What I'll tell y'all, no body, no death. We saw the body and guess what? There's no death. Him alive, ooh, badly wounded, <laughs> badly wounded. 
But something in me thinks that she's not, she's going to go out of her dad's sight and then she's going to scamper off. Scamper off to find her boo thing. The Eye of Sauron now turns to Gondor. Oh, so that's the next place we're heading to go war. Frodo is either going to get rid of the ring and succeed, but kill himself in the process, or not succeed and fall prey to the ring and its power. Aragorn, son of Arathorn, and Boromir of Gondor. Yeah, you see the connection? You see the connection? Now you gotta help. Now you gotta help. It's one of his companions. I'd hope you would tell me. Yeah, this doesn't really help your case saying you're his friend. You should probably know. Oh my god! Now, now Smeagol's not gonna trust him! But also, Frodo didn't know he, they were gonna capture him like that. Frodo didn't know. <laughs> and now Gollum's back after we done all that work on Smeagol. Where did they film this? I love it. It's beautiful. And I want to go to there. That was dramatic and I love it. Oh, they're getting the kids that can fight. The young lads that can bear arms. And listen, all I'm thinking about is if you're taking the kids, a few of the kids, maybe several of the children, then maybe that frees up some women that could also help fight. <laughs> that poor, I should not laugh. That poor kid. Are these the elves? Are these elves? We are proud to fight alongside men once more. Hell yeah, let's go! Hell yeah! I for real didn't think that like, uh, elf dude, Erlen or whatever his name was, I really didn't think he was gonna send any kind of help or nothing. Hi. Okay, I've seen Legos's, Legolas's aim. Why are the elves not shooting right now and taking them out as they're approaching? Oh, imagine being in a dark-ass cave here and there. Uh-uh. Could not be me. You know what? If little kid Ashley had watched these, because I was like eight when these movies came out, if little kid me, preteen me, watched this, I would simply have nightmares for weeks. I would have been so scared. Now, how they go shoot over them people like that? What if you, what if you messed up a little bit and shot one of your own in the back? Not smart. Oh, wow. The ladder's going up is crazy. 19! I love that they have this little competition going while they're literally trying to save multiple thousands of people. They're just still out here, like, doing their own thing. A whole world of hurt is going on. And y'all are, like, debating. It takes a long time to say anything. In old Eldish. I just ain't got enough patience for this guy. Still counting. You know what? If keep if making this a competition keeps you alive and winning the war, that's all that matters. Is this all you can conjure, Saruman? Do not ask for more when you yourself are not helping with this. Well, I guess we lost this war. Guess we're gonna lose a few thousands of people. Hey, toss the rocks. Whatever works, works. I ain't judging it. Like, what do we do now? I just simply don't think we're gonna win this. I believed in us earlier. I don't now. Okay, Link. Okay, Link. Yes. Cannot hold back this storm. Right, so are you joining or no? Your part in this tale is over. What? Uh, why does he just get to decide that for him? No. There won't be a Shire. I mean, that is true. It's only a matter of time before the Shadow and the Dark Armies and all that jazz, like, makes it to the Shire. <laughs> Legolas simply has to- Oh my god, they didn't have to- They didn't have to do it twice. Legolas is gonna have to step up to lead the, the elf- Elf army because dude just got got. Damn, king, you just got down there and you already been hit? Zero help from the king. Oh, come on, we can take him. In what world? 
Ghibli is wild, but it always pays off for him, so good for him. I mean, at what point do we just say that we're SOL and go somewhere else? But I guess we don't. We're literally, children and, and women are in caves, so there's nowhere else for us to go. So when they say into the keep, is that different than into the caves? The closer we are in danger, the further we are from harm. Okay, valid. That's valid. I'll follow that. What? Oh, is this his first time seeing the destruction? Sharon. That's what we try to tell you, bro. My business is with Isengard tonight. Hell yeah, trees are in with us. Y'all only thought it didn't affect you. And look, now there's so many more that showed up. Okay, it is likely that we go to our doom. Okay, but hear me out. Other than fire, how do you take down an ant, you know? If you chop them, they're just gonna grow back. Like Groot does, right? right. I don't think he's gonna be all right, Sam. You want to know what happened to Boromir? Yeah, spill the tea, sis. The ring drove your brother mad! It's factual. It's for real. But they will not get far. The Urukai are too many. Okay, some hope is better than no hope, homie. So much death. And there's gonna be more if you don't freaking act. Yeah, this this king is like not a very good king. This king is not a very good king. Now, I mean, I know we have a lot going on, but we have got to look east. We have got to find Gandalf. Found him, hey boo, how you doing? We got a lot going on down here. Would you like to help, please? It's dude who got banished! Hell yeah! Bring him back! This makes sense. That makes sense. I wasn't sure how the trees were gonna help fight. This makes sense. Oh, see? See, what I tell y'all? Fire! Fire's gonna get him! what I tell y'all? Oh, the tree that was on fire made it into the water, so that's wonderful. Good for him. This is awesome. So it'll kill the dudes that he's got underground, forming weapons and armies and things, and birthing those critters out of mud. Don't do it, Frodo. Don't give it up and don't put it on. Don't give it up and don't put it on. Mm-mm. Frodo, you gotta fight it, baby. You gotta fight it. Man, Sam, Sam is such a good friend slash bodyguard. Frodo, what? Jesus. Frodo, snap out of it. Is he gonna kill Sam? Whew, all right. Ooh, that's, that's too close of a call for me on that one. By rights, we shouldn't even be here. Like, Frodo really don't have, have that many options. Oh my god, that's such a great question. Oh my god, feel that. I felt that in my bones. All our hopes now lie with two little hobbits. How does that make y'all feel? Meanwhile, in a totally different reality, these two be dead in a in the woods somewhere, and everybody else is just fighting, kicking ass, waiting to see what happens. That is true. Sam has saved your ass on many occasions. Could let do it. Who is her? The ring? His precious. What ways to go yet? Follow me. I hate it! We should have killed Gollum in the first movie when we had the chance. And then, when we decided to not do that, we should have killed him earlier when we had the chance. All I know is Smeagol, Gollum, whoever the hell, he better come in handy because I just don't know if he's worth it at this point. And it's over? Alright, let's talk about it. You know what? I feel like I enjoyed this one more than I enjoyed Fellowship of the Ring. And maybe it's because, you know, Fellowship of the Ring had to establish a lot of things. Many things. Cities. People. People that the people were related to. And you got introduced to a lot of things all at once. And especially since I did not read the books. Again, I had... I didn't know anything about this trilogy 
I think I was overwhelmed. I think I had a lot to keep up with. I also didn't have on subtitles, which I learned my lesson and I watched with subtitles this time. I like this one a lot more than Fellowship of the Ring. I am really excited, actually, actually. I was nervous, again, I said this earlier in the film, that I was nervous about watching this because it's such, because like, woo wee, did I upset a whole bunch of people? I upset a whole bunch of people after Fellowship of the Ring because I didn't understand and like I didn't realize how long it was gonna be in my little ADHD brain like I got up to eat dinner and then like forgot and I, anyways 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 if you want to see that catastrophe you are more than welcome to go check out my reaction to Fellowship of the Ring but anyways I think I enjoyed this one just a lot more beautiful movies I forgot how just beautiful these films are I am actually really excited about finishing this movie or not this movie but uh this trilogy I'm excited to finally see what's gonna happen I'm very concerned about Frodo about whether or not he's going to be strong enough to get the, the ring to Mordor, to Mount Doom, like to, to destroy the ring, or is he going to be overcome with it? I am so sick of Gollum. Said it right there at the end. I'm going to say it again. I'm going to reiterate. I'm going to enunciate. They should have killed Gollum when they had the chance. All those other chances to kill him, they should have killed him. I love the Ents, the tree men. They are fun. Scary but comforting all at once. Don't ask me how, but I stand by it. So anyways, I think I like the Two Towers more than Fellowship of the Rings. I am very excited to wrap up this trilogy to find out what happens to the ring, to Frodo, to Gandalf the White, to Sur Suramin and Suron. Those are just two similar names. I struggle to pronounce those. White Wizard Man and Flaming Eyeball. I'm just excited to see how this all wraps up. I know this movie, I know I watched the theatrical cuts. Listen deal with it. I don't know what to tell you. And who is Return of the King? Who is the king? Like, was it the king that we just saved in this movie from Sauron? Suriman, I mean? Like, is, is it that king? So I'm excited to wrap it up. I guess we'll find out next Monday how I feel about it all. I did enjoy The Two Towers more than I enjoyed Fellowship of the Ring. That's where I'm gonna leave it right now. I think I'm gonna judge this as a trilogy as a whole after I finish it. So, that's coming up next Monday. Like, subscribe, stick around. Links to social media down below if you would be my friend outside the YouTubeverse. And I'll see you right back here on Friday for another reaction. <laughs> I don't have it written down right now. So make sure you stick around to find out links to social media, like I said. And I'll see you next time. Bye.